Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, for this particular video, I, I've been, like, kind of debating on what path to go down, because I want to tell another story that's kind of about me, because honestly, I kind of like those videos a little bit more than the discussion rants, because those put me on tangents, that, and honestly, last for hours on end. Um, for this particular video, I actually... I, I thunked up something, and yes, that was said intentionally for one reason. School. A lot of people in the past have said that their least favorite and or worst topic, necessary topic, is mathematics. For me, that's actually not the case. You don't find this statement out there very often. I actually love math, and a couple of the people who subscribe to me can't actually confirm that there have been times where I would spend my free time, I, I used to do this, I don't do it now, but I used to spend my free time writing up math problems and then solving them. Did I know what the math problems I was writing up were? No, they were literally randomized numbers and the like, scenarios. Now, did they always work out? Of course not. Sometimes the answer would be unknown, which means basically it was an answer that was... it, it couldn't be solved properly. It, like Kind of like something divided by zero is unknown because you can't divide anything by zero. That kind of thing. However, this doesn't particularly mean that I fully enjoy the topic as a whole. It's still a stressful topic to me. I enjoy doing the simpler mathematics, or at least what's simpler to me, like algebra. For me, algebra was very, very, very easy. Even geometry was more or less. It's, it's pre-calc and anything that came after, which makes sense, given the level of difficulty it's at, that's where I kind of drew the line. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> but even so, that still leaves a wide variety of things that I thoroughly enjoyed mathematic-wise. I used to do these kind of problems. I, I, I still remember, as like an 18, 19-year-old, I would sit in bed and just write out like, all right, in parentheses, x minus 5, outside parentheses, another parentheses, beginning parentheses, x minus 5, end parentheses, okay. I'm trying to do this in a way where it looks better. Beginning parentheses, x minus 5, end parentheses, beginning parentheses, x plus 6, end parentheses, all that on top of a line, meaning divided by, and then the bottom would be like x plus 8 equals y. What is y? That kind of thing. And that was completely random, by the way. That's how random I would make it for myself. And sometimes I got a direct answer, sometimes I got an answer that didn't make much sense, and sometimes the answer was just like, yeah, it's not there. <laughs> it was interesting for me for the same reason that I like theories when it comes to like films or move or shows or I guess movie and shows movies shows video games theories about stuff like that because it gets your brain rolling it's a reason I like puzzle games so much as well when it comes to video games or why I like puzzles in general because I like solving things that are usually numerically placed this is a little bit odd to a lot of people because a lot of people don't like this kind of stuff. A lot of people hate mathematics and use the concept, but yes, to a degree makes a lot of sense, what I'm about to say, of there is no reason for me to know this. Quite honestly, for the most part of the jobs that I've held, aside from the little what I consider a job, even though technically it's not, I still consider it a job to myself at this point anyway, a job for myself. Um, most jobs out there have you solve 
Yes, maybe not the complex equations that college has you do, but the ones that you learn in high school, middle school, slash, um, what is the other name? Junior high or elementary school. Some problems like that are taught to you through those time periods are used frequently in jobs. A good example is my dad, who works as an accountant for a shoe company uh, called Kuz. And mathematics are all over the place for an accountant. Anybody who's an accountant knows this. And the, th the weird thing about math, though, is that when you like doing that kind of stuff, it puts you in a mindset where that kind of stuff, the technical situations matter more than a lot of other things, which to a degree is true, but it can cause issues. Now that's that's a discussion for another day. It kind of strays off to what I'm originally talking about. For me, something that builds me up is the fact that I do like math, and I like solving things. Now, that being said, that is another video basically talking about how I personally am. I love math. I love resolving problems like that. If you want to learn more about me, consider either checking out the playlists that are next to me, where I either talk about my own personal opinion on random topics, whether psychological, philosophical, or, you know, just something that's been asked to talk about. Um, or you'll have a playlist where, like this one, I talk about my own past or how I am personally. If you do like this kind of content a lot, consider subscribing to the channel because I do one of these type of videos once every three days at the minimum. Sometimes there are points in times where I'll end up doing one day where it's just vlogs if it's absolutely necessary. This doesn't happen often. But it will happen every now and then, especially when there are, like, announcements that I want to make. That being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, if you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, as I said before, consider subscribing to the channel. In the meantime, hope you click one of these, or this, or that, down there. I'm gonna head off. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully. <laughs> Bye for now.